to talk eventually. I just don't know what to say. Okay. Actually, that's not true. We've been talking for like five months and you didn't think it was worth mentioning that you have a complete aversion to living in the United States? I mean, the same could be said for you in Australia? No, it's hardly the same. I don't actively dislike Australia. I've already explained it. We promised our mom that we would take care of each other. I can't ignore that just because I meet someone. Yeah, and I understand that. It's just, you never mentioned it. Well, now I've mentioned it. And it doesn't seem like it changes anything for you. Look, you've got to understand something. My parents immigrated to this country because they wanted me to have everything that they didn't. Moving to a country without standardized health care or an education system that would leave my kids in debt is a huge slap in the face to them. Don't even get me started about gun control. Okay, I get it. And for the record, I don't like those things about the United States either. But my sister is in the United States. I can't abandon everything that my parents have worked for. It will break their heart. I'm just sitting here. Listening to the rational part of my brain. Yelling, I told you so, over and over. Just in case you're wondering. Debica. You know, you were wrong. About what? Well, you told me I should be hopeful, right? You were wrong. I guess I was. I'm sorry. do this. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? I'm sorry. shitty mood. I just thought you might have been Joe. Sorry to disappoint. It's your sister, not your girlfriend. Mm. <laughs> She's not my girlfriend. Ah. Oh. So you guys talked about the who would move where thing, huh? How did you know that? Penelope and I figured it out the other day. We tried to call you. I don't think it would have made any difference. So what's the word? Well, I can't move there because our parents would disown me. And she can't move here because of a promise to her dead mother. So. You fucked. Can't really compete with a dead mum, can I? She has said she couldn't do this and hung up. So that's it? I figured she'd call back. I mean, I'm sure you two will... Ugh. This work. Hold on one sec. Can you just call me back? I don't... Denali! Shit. Denali! Denali, just call me back. Okay, I'm not gonna sit there and cry.
Hey. Hey. That's not bad. Oh, you know, just uh, trying to give Sam Smith a run for their money. Oh, <laughs> he's such a downer. <laughs> hey, you gonna be okay over there? What's my other option? Is it morning there? Well, it's technically morning, but I am just getting into bed. I have never had this kind of medical attention before. Well, actually, I'm calling about Dee and Joe. What about them? Oh, well, they had the talk. And? Not good. Uh, I guess Joe said she couldn't do it anymore. Joe said that? I would have sworn it would have been Tabaka. <laughs> My money would have been on day two. What is Joe thinking? She is crazy about your sister. Well, I hope she calls us soon because I left Abika sitting at the piano playing the sad song over and over again. What song? Something about it not being worth the fight. Oh, I'll send it to you. Sent. loves her. You know, she's become a completely different person since they started dating. She's totes gonna be wrecked. Did Debecca say exactly what happened? Something about a promise to your mom. Joe. She is the best little sister in the world. Present company excluded, of course. Of course. But sometimes she takes the family obligation a little too seriously. Don't worry. I've got this handled. <laughs> Our sister's collective love life is literally in your hands. So, no pressure. <laughs> 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 Fluffernutter, I can tell that you've been avoiding my calls, but you can't ignore me. Not in 2020, girl. I'm gonna VM you, IM you, PM you, DM you. I will Snapchat you, Facebook Messenger you. I might even sign you up for Daily Cat Facts. Are you picking up what I'm slapping down? Either way, please just watch this video. Because this girl clearly loves you, and I will not let you mess that up over a ten-year-old promise. I pray for you on so many stars. I wished for. 